Hey guys, Swansea Batcave here with an X-Wing video. So I thought I'd talk you through what I'm hoping is a competitive build for 100 point games, 100 point dogfights, and also some of my repaints. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a look, shall we? So uh, I'll go through the list first and I'll talk about the painting afterwards and move these out of the way. There we go. Okay, I know we've already shown one of the repaints in another video of the um, Houndstooth escape ship, but um, I thought I'd talk through some other things, some of the other repaints I've done as well. So, um, for this list I'm proxying two cards because I haven't bought them yet. Uh, so the proxying Mangler Cannon and the heavy Skike Interceptor upgrade because I only have one copy of them so far. So, uh, the list had a couple of points extra, that's why there's some perhaps pointless named named upgrades in there. So we have a Skike, the uh, Sarisu. There we go. Uh, so, uh, when, let's see if we can get it to focus on the text, there we go. When another friendly ship at range 1 is defending, you may re it may re-roll one defense dice. It's cool in that the Skikes are highly defensive and quick, um, so both um, using two of them, as the other one is the, there we go, uh, Leighton Ashira. So after you defend against an attack, if it did not hit, you may assign one of a token to the ship. So uh, both ships are taking um, stealth devices to give them focus, focus. There we go. To give them one extra agility. Um, so hopefully they're not going to get hit too early on. So that'll give them four agility each with the Sarisu, um, meaning that I can re-roll one of the defense dice with on the on this one on the Leighton. And both of them are being given Mangler cannons. So that they can hit at range three. And again, hopefully increasing their defense, their agility if they get shot at, um, and and causing some crits. And in order to use the cannon, they're both getting the two point heavy Skike interceptor upgrade, giving them the cannon ability. Uh, so that puts them on three agility, no four agility with the stealth device at range three. Hopefully they'll get to maybe another dice. And being able to re-roll one, and well, using evade more often than focus, and then we have the bigger ship out of the the list, which is Cath Scarlet aboard her fire spray. Um, I really like this because I mean base um, base attack value is three, and then through the auxiliary you get to roll one additional dice. So her the plan is the two skikes will come up the middle, and Cath will jump past the ships. Let's see if we can we'll demonstrate in the background here. So Kath will start off here. So there's another ship there. Kath will go behind them for the move and the Skikes should sit either side in front, hopefully quite far away, and try and just pick out individual ships one at a time until they're all gone. There we go. Um haven't tried many of the missions yet. Um, my playgroup mainly likes just dogfighting until everything's dead, so that's what this builds around, but hopefully I'll be able to complete some of the mission objectives and things when we get into that. Uh, so Cath Scarlet is being given uh, the crew card, there you go, Greedo. It's the first time you attack each round and the first time you defend, uh, the first damage card is dealt face up just to maximise the amount of crits that we're pumping out, and Expose um, as an action. Come on, focus, focus, focus. No, you're not going to? There we go. So until the end of the round, increase your primary weapon value by one and decrease your agility. Now, Cath Scarlet's agility is two anyway, and a ton of shield and hull points. So hopefully it won't be such a big issue, but also getting one extra dice on the auxiliary arc plus one for exposed will mean rolling f five attack dice with one of them almost being guaranteed to be a crit each turn. And then as a, just an afterthought, uh, inertial dampeners, because, you know, having a zero move once uh, once a game is quite cool. So what it'll mean is I can position the, I can position the fire spray in such a way, maybe draw somebody to try and just basically get in front of me, try and shoot me, and, or get past me rather, they'll try and get, drive past and assume I'm going to move out of their, out, I'll be out of their arc and I'll just use the zero movement to stay where I am and have them in a perfect position, hopefully at range one, to, to do more damage. So yeah, uh, that's the 
100 point list. I think it comes to exactly 100 points. And a couple of guys in the playgroup want to do 200 points, and that's where I'm repainting some of these other ships to fit in there. So I'll take a look at the uh, normal ships first, because there's some cool stuff in here. So, uh, Kath Scarlet's Fire Spray. Uh, repainted the sort of dappled red sections in uh, dark, sort of crimsony scarlet colour. Uh, with some highlights on this, this is just Citadel uh, paint some a very thin brush to do some highlights and just some streaks down the edging there you go and on the back then just given some nice bright engine flare and picked out some of the bits on the cockpit that weren't quite painted when it came out of the factory and when we have a skike for Gers there we go uh, so I repainted the greens with a uh, light brushing of some dark greys and some light greys, painted on the uh, Benerian pirate symbol and repainted the front into a nice dark scarlet colour, again with the same highlights, and painted some of the missing parts of the cockpit into black. And another little engine flare at the back as well. And there we go, and this is the other skike. I picked up um, one of the other videos I was showing you some micro machines that I picked up for just debris, and I found this in there, and I thought that looks like a heavy skike interceptor, much more than the teeny little uh, sort of wasp counterpart in its official model. And look, it almost feels like it's facing the right way. So uh, yeah, this is my now my other skike interceptor model, uh, attached to a little bit of green stuff underneath. Um, yeah, so it's just a dry brush of greys and some scarlet colours, and the pirate symbol painted on, and some little engine flares again. And this is what I'm currently working on. This is the ooh, Star Viper. Okay. Just trying to go for like a grey and red colour scheme across it all. There we go. So this is um, not finished with this one yet. Uh, the weapons are going to be put into like metallic colour. Um, I'm going to stick a pirate symbol on this somewhere. And the back is still black. So I'm not sure whether I want to go for like like a Starfield look on the back. Like it's really reflective and oh, it's kind of a stealth ship, which would be quite cool because I do give them stealth devices when I play them, um, or whether I want to match the front with the grey, but I'm not sure whether that would make it too too flat. Uh, yeah, and then as in the other video, the little um, little escape ship from the Hound's Tooth, which I'll be picking up at some point. Yeah, so everything done with Citadel paint. Um, let's see if I can grab the colours actually. Let's uh, take a magic moment where I pop and get the paint. Boom, and we're back. So, um, for the little brown ship, it is watered down um, Vallejo, Vallejo colour. Um, not sure what the name of this one is actually. Does it say on there? No. Well, it's this coloured Vallejo model colour, anyway. There you go. As they're really nice, they come in dropper bottles. So, you're not going to have the paint dry out. I've had this, this one tub f since I started university and finished and eight years so this is eight years and it's still pretty much well, it's, it's exactly as I bought it and then everything else is GW so Citadel paints so uh, let's go through the colors so for the, the engine flares started with this which is an out of print um, focus focus regal blue um, you can pick up sort of similar colours currently from the Games Workshop, but I don't feel they have as much pigment as this colour. So you can probably find a couple floating around eBay. And then that is mixed with, so again, an out-of-print paint hawk turquoise, which I think there's, a, again, there's a comparable sort of... There's a, a new paint they brought out, which is similar to it. Uh, mixed with that, and then finally some ice blue, another out-of-print colour again. And then a little bit of uh, white acrylic in there, just to give it like a little bit of spot, spot colour at the end. And then the crimson colour is a base, when they were doing base paints, I think they still do them, but maybe not, um, of corn red. And then a layer paint of wild rider red. Uh, just for those little highlights and everything. Get Got a wash, all the reds got a wash of Druhi Violet Shade, which is really cool. And for the guns, I'll grab the other paint. Boom, there we go. And for so the guns, it is a base of... Chainmail, which is again, it's another out of print, I think. I don't know whether they're still doing chainmail. Um, it's a silver paint from Citadel, 
and then this, which is one of my favourite things that the Citadel paints have ever made, which is Nuln Oil. It takes anything you're painting and it makes it look better, regardless of what colour you're using, what you're painting, what you're painting it for. It's amazing. It's just slap Null and Oil on it and it makes it look cool. Right, so it sits in the cracks, it gives it some depth, things like that. And for everything I'm using this, which is an Army Painter brush. There's the product code if you need it. There we go. So yeah, Army Painter. Focus. There you go, sort of. Anyway, it's Army Painter, which do a range of brushes, sprays, and dips for your paints. And it's really nice. Um, it's got a really nice shape to hold, and it's, it keeps its point very well. Um, I think they're synthetic bristles, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's, it's perfect for everything. They do sort of dry brushes, smaller brushes, detail brushes. This is... doesn't say... I don't know. It doesn't say what size this is, but uh, yeah, if you uh, if you want to pick one up, there's the there's the product code for it. Yeah, very nice. So that was it. Um, any comments you have about the the list I've written up for a hundred points? Whether you think I should swap out things? I know a few people have said that expose isn't really as good as some things as maybe giving it uh, uh, what's it uh, stressed? No. The, the one that when you're stressed you get an extra you get extra stuff out of it um maybe that's a better thing to put in and save some points um yeah uh tell me what you think about it and um yeah if you want any if you like these videos like them down there subscribe and uh i'll see you guys next time thanks